Hello everyone, uh, today is Monday, April 19th, and I'll be going over my recap for today. Uh, so today, I um, started using my second broker, which was uh, Trade Zero, And it's just a backup broker where I will use to locate more shorts uh, availability if there aren't any in my uh, main broker in Thinkorswim or TD Ameritrade. So today I did uh, a short there on uh, CLOV on Clove for a $461 wins, but it, it took, uh, the cost to locate was $34. Um, so you can see on the left there, I have my TD, uh, which I'm down 85 today, uh, trading four stocks and traded one short on Clove CLOV. Um, so I'll go over my uh, thinkorswim trades first, and then I'll go to my trade zero. I still probably need to get used to switching back and forth between brokers and probably need to mess around with the layouts and configurations till I get the hang of it. Um, but let's get started. So starting from the top here, VXX. So VXX was a short here. Um, it kind of traded like it was an ETF. Maybe it is an ETF. Um, but what I saw here was an inverted cup and handle forming um, in here. And it was a five minute reversal for that break. And I just covered uh, pretty much just at that 10, 28 level. Uh, it was a small win. I didn't really trust it because the uh, there was big bids and big uh, big ask in level two, um, like it was an ETF. So I wanted to just uh, get out of it, but I made uh, forty nine dollars from that. Um, NAKD is my next trade. So this one I was up uh, ninety five dollars for the day, and I give it away. So the first trade here was an extension on its inverted cup and handle. Took that break of the 53 eights or so uh, cover uh, had some good covers here and the low 52s in the 51s high 51s um, and then took the rest off of there so that was a 95 dollar win um, and then i went ahead and took a reshort off this break i was a little bit too late um and i I guess I kept adding to my short position, risking pretty much the 53 50s area. Uh, went ahead and add, and then I covered the rest when it had this little spike here, uh, which which was pretty much break even there. Um, and then I give away my profits during this move here. So I was short bias because of the hourly extension and VWAP during the later part of the morning here, or in the trader trading days. So you can see is there a little high inverted cup and handle. It broke momentarily there for one candle and went back. And that's where I went ahead and tried to attack it a little bit more short and ended up taking it off there for a small loss. Um, or not small loss, but maybe I, I think this was a um, $100 loss. So I lost my profits there on NAKD, um, but total of uh, $16 down on that name. And uh, next trade is CGA. So CGA was a kind of end of day. And I think after hours, uh, I was kind of expecting this to kind of retest the 15 minute chart at least. It had this uh, 1664 level that it held pretty well. It created lower highs or higher lows or yeah, lower highs. And then went ahead and looked for a short here, maybe the break of 1664. Didn't exactly break 1664. And I went ahead and cover uh, downsides before the market closed there. And then just pretty much just covered right here for a $30 loss. Uh, next trade is AHT. So AHT, um, I was also short bias and can see those lower highs forming here. I took a short, there's a little wick, 
one of the kind of short trap that I've been seeing. And if you see the wicks and recover and hang on, then you're able to trend a little higher. So I went ahead and took my covers there for a small loss there. I think this was a $80 loss. Um, and then I went ahead and tried it one more time here. At this level, I uh, went in a little bit too early and took a lot another loss here for another $60 loss, totaling a, of $140 loss there. And then I went ahead and take a long break here when I saw this kind of resistance became support, hourly's kind of tested and for the higher day break. Uh, but it had like this rejection candle on the higher day break, well, which kind of just took me out. Um, and then it started, it, it ended up breaking higher day there to 231s uh, before fading back down. It was a nice inverted cup and handle. 225 break for the fade lower there. Uh, but I didn't watch that, but I think I gained back 60 bucks here um, to be a total of down 87 on the name total. Uh, and then my other trade was on my trade zero platform and let me pull that up. So trade zero was on CLOV. I saw a nice kind of uh, trend line here and it was breaking the 15 minute 50 minute trend and I went ahead and took some short there and cover um, and I think this was like a hundred hundred and uh, fifty five dollar win and then I took another kind of inverted cup and handle here for a three hundred and five dollar win at this spot down to there and this is the five minute chart I think in the one minute chart it looks a little clear um, where I took the positions right there covers and that was a total of uh, $461 there on CLOV um, but I didn't get any um, or, or it costs of uh, $34 to locate 2,000 shares um, so I think uh, probably going to spend the rest of the day trying to figure out the layout of this and hopefully kind of set it up for streaming tomorrow morning um, so it will look a little cleaner. Um, but yeah, overall, total of 376 on both brokers total. And yeah, if you enjoyed this content, be sure to hit the subscribe button and like button. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye. Okay,